making the pendulum bob. The parts needed include templates number 6 and 7 and 6 number 4 brass screws. There are three parts to this bob and is constructed much like a sandwich. The walnut in this case contain the front and back of the bob while the maple contains the middle of the bob. If you notice there's a pocket, this pocket that's been milled in the parts will be used to contain lead for the bob. You can remove the front and back bob pieces from template number 7 by scoring the tabs using a utility or a hobby knife. You can do the same thing with the center pieces of the bob. Once the pieces are cut, you will have to sand the tabs to the edge. To sand the front and back of the bob, I find easiest to lay a piece of sandpaper down on a flat surface. Run the piece back and forth on the sandpaper in the direction of the grain. Now take the front bob piece and the two middle pieces, lay them side by side. This part of the build will be much like constructing a sandwich. The two middle pieces will be glued to the back of the front section. You can use a piece of half inch material between them to keep the pieces from slipping around. In this case, I use a piece of half inch aluminum. That way, as glue squeezes out under clamping pressure, it won't stick to the pendulum bob. Work quickly to orient your clamps. Clamp the piece off. Keep it under clamp for around 20 minutes. You can now attach the back of the pendulum bob to the front assembly. Before you do this, ensure that you countersink holes at the position of the piloted holes in the back of the pendulum bob. Now that the bob is assembled, sand off any glue and sand the edges flush. Take the bob apart, insert the pendulum bob lid. The pendulum bob is complete for now.